Hey guys, welcome back to Auction Not Included. We are, of course, on La Nova de Mot, the Death Star, where we are bringing in all Imperial officers. Though, now that I've said that, I want to bring in someone. Let's see, let's see if we actually have someone here who technically is not an Imperial officer, but does his job on Coruscant, so that kind of makes him an Imperial? Question mark. I don't know. Well, I'm going to take Ruby here. Um, uh, that's because I don't think anybody else has any cooking skills. We're going to rename them. This is. Dex, uh, let me just double check the spelling here. Got to make sure I get this right. Uh, Dexter, I can't press an X. I cannot do it. Dex, no, come on. I just X, tur. <laughs> no, please work for me. Dexter Jetster is a chef on Coruscant. The reason that I'm bringing them in is because I've had enough of Tarkin being our chef here. I'm going to go through, I'm going to get the cooking, we're going to turn everyone off here and just have Dexter doing that. That should be pretty cool. Hopefully this is a high enough priority that he is inspired to carry on going on and doing that. Now, what do I want to do actually for today's... I just realised that I have not put down a cot anywhere for them. Oh well, they're going to have a very bad time. What are we going to do in today's one well I want to deal with some of this heat for starters you can see it's starting to creep in here and my millwood stops growing when it gets up to a body temperature of 30 and you can see we're at two, uh, 27 already so I want to I want to deal with uh, that to do this I want to come into my research now what I really want to do that that's that's not the one I want at all it's supposed to be uh, down here what I want to do is do all of uh, these but I think before I do that I want to get artistic expression uh, done and out of the way because I want to start building some extra stuff up here. Oh, look, Tarkin's getting themselves all fixed up. I wonder who... Ah, uh, Piet is the person that makes them feel better. Yeah, uh, come here. I'll make you feel better. Yeah? No? No? Okay, well, anyway, I want to build a whole load of stuff up here. And, in fact, I want to build there about this sort of height there. Can we go all the way... I think I'm going to go all the way across there. We're going to have a, an actual... No, I'm gonna do. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Uh, leave three. Three is always like the nice room to leave. I I think so anyway. Uh, let's pop all these up here like this. And I wanna I wanna build some stuff here. Now the first thing that I want to build is some serious wash basin business because that's that's just how we keep our colony nice and clean. Uh, I also want to throw in a couple of doors here. Uh, now this should be less than the number I need. Let me just double check here. 64 tiles. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, I could exactly the right number here. That's good. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, we'll put that across there like this. Pull up this tile here. Now, I've done the majority of the work that needs doing here, but there's a few things we need to make sure get done beforehand. So I'm going to, like, rip in the holes like that, then come in here with a priority nine dig and just say, be like, hey, you see all this sand here? It's more important than anything else you've ever done that that gets done first. Also, if we look in here, there should be some other places where there are some sands. We want to, like, get rid of that, get rid of that. Uh, maybe do another high-priority dig up here. Okay, that should help us out quite a lot. Uh, also, this has kind of covered up there. Okay, everything should work out fine. Now, the reason that we're building this next space for Bristle Blossoms is not because we are running out of food. I do really have to stress that. We we have enough, um, enough millwood here to support about 20 duplicates. So that, that should work out a-okay. Are they going to do that one first? Of course they're not going to do that one first. Why, why would they? Why would they? That just sounds crazy. Okay, that, that's all good. I will see you guys when we've got this space opened up and are ready to go. Okay, that's my first bit of research complete. Let's come back up here. That is the artistic expression. I will be making good use of that, and now I want to make sure that all of this gets done, because obviously it is the air we need to cool, and to cool down there, we need to get to ventilation on the go. I also wanted to get these airflow tiles to make sure we could get the living quarters being free of carbon dioxide. Uh, I also want the insulated tile and these thermoregulators because I'm going to store the heat. I, I've decided it's not worth trying to get rid of it, although that is a, a viable way of dealing with heat. I'm actually going to make a nice little area. Maybe we'll use this water here. Water has an unbelievable uh, specific heat capacity, 4.17 joules per kilogram, which, which is a lot of heat. It's a lot of heat. If I try and find... Do we have any other liquids kicking around? I don't, I don't think we do. Let's, uh, let's take hydrogen, for instance. I know it's a gas 
it's going to have less, but that's 2.4. Uh, you know, that's that's a lot less than the... Was, was that a lot less? I don't know. Yeah, that, that's half. That's half of what water can take. So that the uh, heat capacity is basically how much heat you can like put into it before its temperature starts changing. In essence. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, these guys are really being quite slow on getting this lot done. Have I um, turned up the priority on this? I've not. This should have been a higher priority. Is this an unreachable dig? It is an unreachable dig. So how about we come in here with a seven? We're going to lose a little bit of dirt there. but I th uh, Not dirt, of sand there. But I think we can live with that. Just with one of these. We really need to start tidying this place back up again you can see we've really started to let the decor drop uh, mainly this is stuff in the corners of rooms and stuff like that but that that's that's exactly why we did this artistic expression also while we're in here let me uh, pull this up I want the mess tables now which which one do you reckon is the middle two spots here it's it's like that one two three four five six seven no it's, it's this one here this one is in the wrong place oh well I'm gonna I'm gonna do four let's, let's do that many does that, does that look good? Four on this side, four on that side. That should, should give us enough room for people to be happy and every other good thing that we want them to be in here. Uh, let's go one of those, one of the, uh, that's, that looks good. That looks good. I'm also going to put a ceiling lamp up here and up here. Uh, it's a little overkill on the lighting, but still, it's pretty cool. And we'll power this off the same thing that we power the kitchen and, um farm lighting and oxygen off off that that's my plan anyway this system down here and then this system will be unto itself over there and we'll probably have another one for water at some point we will make a giant power station that does everybody's power but that is also slightly inefficient so i'm, I'm not sure how well we'll be doing that is this still an unreachable dig how is this still an no no that's not unreachable but over here is unreachable so if i come through and put us down just a a little bit more of a building platform over there. That should help quite a lot. I was expecting them to get all this done in the time it took me to talk to you. Um, but we've got to the end of the day already. So mm, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we've just got ourselves the pressure management. Now I want this for a very specific reason. I want to get this airflow tile coming through here. So we can let all our carbon dioxide fall down. I'm a little bit worried about the polluted oxygen in there, but we're, we're just going to live with that. We're going to make sure that these guys aren't suffering too much from that. And with that, we're also going to give Dexter a cot over there. You can see that I've prepared this area for digging as well. I think it'll be good just to open up this water area. Maybe even have this ladder going all the way down, just so there's like water available everywhere. Eventually, what we'll do is take a space, maybe like this one, um, put down a pitch pump one of these these um pitcher pumps yes indeed somewhere close to the kitchen and then pump water underneath it so there's local close water supply to be a you hello what have we here steam geyser okay awesome Oh, oh, that's going to be next episode's thing. I'm not going to be able to do that straight away, but that's going to give us... Oh, that's awesome. That is really close as well, so that's going to give us everything we want. Why everything? Well, all the water that we want. We're still going to have a bit of a heating issue. Also, I wanted to do my heating storage column here, so I'm not sure whether that is the best. Uh, what we'll do is put a small hole in here like this. Maybe even get the hole here. Wait, wait, wait. I've do we have the research that I want here? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a hole through that and a hole through these and put down some actual manual airlocks because these are spaces... Oh, these are spaces that are supposed to be protected. Uh, so that should be pretty cool. Is there anywhere else that needs protection? Like, like this... This kind of needs protection. Protecting from itself, right? Because I want this uh, this bleach stone over here eventually. Uh, let's do that and pull these back here. Saying that, do we even have the thing that we had the bleach stone for in the first place? You remember there used to be this hand sanitizer that you put bleach stone into? Uh, I don't think it's actually a thing anymore because we wash our hands in a sink. Uh, so I suppose not. I suppose not. Alright, I'm going to let most of this get done. Do a few little things like replace the doors, let the research work through, uh, and I'll be back when that's all good.
Okay, so we've just received one of the very important ingredients about making this place a stable temperature. That is, of course, the insulated tiles. Because if we can't make the heat stay back from here... Oh, I suppose I should have used a bit light. But anyway, if we can't make the heat stay back from here, we're going to be in a big, big, big trouble. Yes, indeed we are. I think I'm even going to go for P7 there. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, we've got a few other things that we're digging out, but that's fine. That is fine. So that'll keep that nice and uh, separated. Another thing that I also want to do is put down a little insulated layer like that. I think I'm going to need double uh, because I'm going to put two heat exchangers here. Yes, indeed. Let's also dig a little hole through there uh, and maybe even another set of insulated tiles like that. Put down another manual door here and then we've just got this nice little space that we can keep um, keep the heat back from. We'll, we'll probably like make this a vacuum if we can in here. I don't, I don't know how well I'm going to do that. Um, I'm not the best at making vacuums. Uh, and that way, the uh, the heat will not get transferred through. And this insulated tile should also keep us safe. As long as it's not coming through the top here. Which it kind of is, but we can, we can live with that. We can definitely live with that. Somehow. Somehow. Uh, this is not getting done, but this place over here is. Okay, I, I need to wait for the next... The thermoregulator. Because that's what I want to do next. Uh, what I am going to do... We're going to do a uh, ventilation. Uh, now, I want the cold gas coming in this side yes yes we'll have the cold gas coming in this side and then we'll put the hot gas coming out of this side uh, I would like to get now I happen to know that the cold will come out here like so I would love to do insulated pipes but at the moment we don't have it uh, I don't want to go up the top there. Uh, the reason being, that's where a lot of the hot stuff's going to be. Uh, and then maybe something like this. We'll, we'll see how this works out like that. Hopefully everything should get done. How is our food stocks working? Or how are our food stocks working? We're doing very well, actually. We're, we're getting ahead of everything. More. The next important thing is how are we doing for algae? Still pretty good. And we're digging out some more. So that that's going to be a winner. Uh, I'll bring you back when we've got a bit more research. These guys are really working tough, though. Uh, Krennic and... And, uh, oh, Tarkin's not involved? Okay, well, Krennic is working hard. I suppose that's kind of in canon, right? <laughs> I just wanted to bring you back for a second to show you how easy the mess hall as a room is to create. You can see all that's happened is one of these tables have gone down and that is good enough for the game to go, oh yeah, we'll give you extra stress relief down here. Uh, so it's just as simple as that if you are wondering how you make the mess hall. Just, just throw down a single table, put it in an enclosed space and you have got one. Uh, it's to the point actually where if you have a look in here, the mess hall, the minimum size is 12. Uh, let me just point out that's a 3 by 4 so if you put two statues down a mess table and then some um and then something up here uh lighting or something like that uh, you will have a valid mess hall. There was a, a time, once upon a time, where I was giving people individual bedrooms and they had like mess halls on the way out, uh, then the bedroom, and then their toilet. Uh, and each each door was locked to the specific person, which, which was good fun. I, I had a, a lot of fun playing like that. Uh, it got very, very... Um, difficult to keep them all well fed and maintained though because obviously they're spread out over such a wide area uh, that their travel time was ridiculous. Uh, this is taking some serious time to get built. I've got a feeling yeah because we are on the wrong priorities. Let's just go through here and up all of that. That should be cool. Also while we're at it let's do that as well. But this this really is the main focus of my uh, of my efforts right now. Ah Dexter Jetster you could very well be sleeping in a bed if only you had made it. But no he, he likes his science room so we'll, we'll leave him there for now. He seems content you know he just seems content. Maybe, maybe I will just push this up a little bit there. All right cool. Okay, that is the last bit of technology research, the thermoregulator and the thermosensor. Now, the thermosensor, I've got a feeling I'm not going to be able to put down until uh, later on, but I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, that is where I wanted to put it. Okay, cool. Uh, because I wanted to put the insulated tile up here. Yeah, like that. Okay, cool. Let's uh, dig that through there and make sure we can do everything we need to do. Ventilation, gas pipe, let's join everything up like that like that and like that that should be a-okay now we're going to be going up the side here with insulated tiles but i want to have this as a warming place and then i'm going to have another substance up top that i put all the heat into because obviously like we could just keep it here but this will eventually if i if i have a look here uh utilities thermoregulator you can see it's overheat temperature is only 75 and even if we build that out of golden mag uh, 
amalgam. That takes it up to 125. That's plus 50, right? Um, which would be good. We, we could, like, melt water. Melt water? Is that, is that the word I'm looking for? We could boil a water with 125. Oh, look, and there's some right there. Mm. Well, that's that's the upgrade we will do at some point. But for now, I want to go tile. And you can see we've got these thermally reactive substances here. Now, these both have an overheat temperature of plus 15. We could make it out of abyssalite, but that's just slow heating. And I don't want to do that. Um, so I think I'm going to go for obsidian. It just it seems like the good idea, uh, the good material for making that out of. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's, let's see how this works up here. I also want to get a bit of power flowing through. Now these take four 480 watts together, which is near enough exactly what we've got running through the power system at the moment. That's a nearly topping out the power that we can use. And with this gas pump, it might actually top out. So I'm going to take the gamble. I'm going to take the gamble to begin with. But we've got to bear in mind that maybe, just maybe, we're going to want to cut this here and maybe put another power system down below. <coughs> because 120, 240, that's like 360 already, plus two 240s, it's 480, yeah, my maths, it's good, 6, 7, 20, yeah, no, these all together should make it up, that's 840, that's not quite enough to be run off of these, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have to separate this off from the kitchen area. But I'll work on that. I'll work on that. For now, we'll just see what happens. Automation, it says it's got stuff. Okay, we need some refined metals. Now, for refined metals, we need to get on some more research. There are several ways of uh, refining metals. Uh, the best one is the metal refinery. Um, though it p kicks out a lot of heat. The second best one, at least in terms of yield, is to heat up your metal ore to the point where it actually melts. Uh, if I come over and have a look at the gold amalgam, we can see that that is incredibly high. Uh, it is 1,063. That's that's higher than I can go. What about if it was over here iron ore? Uh, that's 1,500, which is, again, very, very hot. I don't think I'll ever be able... Well, I know I won't be able to make it in this sort of system here. I really wish I had some gold amalgam. But the third way, the third way that we can do it is through the brute force refining. Yep, it produces sand from raw materials, but not only that, it also produces uh, raw metal. So if I was to put a kilogram of iron ore in, we get 500 grams of metal and 500 grams of sand. Which is a little bit of a waste, but it's okay. I, I can live with it. I can definitely live with it. Uh, let's go through and make sure that all these priorities are high enough to actually get finished at some point uh, rather than the base day-to-day -day activities taking up all my duplicates times mostly they're making power here which is understandable as this uh, kitchen is running constantly Does everybody get to go home look at this nobody washed their hands what's going on here why did nobody wash their hands i mean oh well because you've only got it inside of you 33 germs 59 germs 47 does that mean our food is infected if it's inside no okay what about our water no. Okay, I think we're alright. I think we're alright. I was a little bit worried, but I think we can manage it. Okay, so my duplicates have gone around and finished the majority of the mess hall. The problem is, where these tiles have not been built, this is now too big a space for it to be considered a room. So I'm going to have to go through and build up a whole load of building aids here, so they can go up and get stuff done. Who knew that building aids was such a big thing? Uh, we can also do that. That that should also help. I'm, I'm hoping somehow. We'll, we'll see what happens. Now, are these guys are making all that granite. We don't we don't have granite here. Let's not try and do that. We do, however, have sandstone all over the floor. So let's make it out of that instead. We've got sandstone 9. Uh, once again, I'm just going to follow the same pattern. Something like this. Yeah. And then maybe up there in case it is needed. Uh, that should definitely get everybody working pretty quick. Here's Casio Targ. Take, take, Targ. Uh, it's the E on the end. I don't know whether that's a big A or a small A. I mean, it's double G, so who knows? All sorts of weird noises come out of my mouth when those sort of... Uh, diphthongs turn up. Who knows they're actually diphthongs. That's just the word that I hear every, every now and then and I think it sounds cool. I mean, how cool is the word diphthong? <laughs> Okay, so whilst these guys are going around fixing this up and getting ready to open this massive storage area up, I've got some other things to do over here. Now, obviously, this is going to work 
basically like a giant oven. And you can think of these guys like the elements, right? The bit that gets really hot. Now there is this, this space in between here, and I want the heat to transfer smoothly between the two. Now last time we talked about thermal... Uh, thermal, uh, sorry, specific heat capacity. Now we're going to talk about thermal conductivity. You can see there's this number here, how many, uh, what is it, watts per meter per per Kelvin, maybe? That might that might be the heat, that might be what that means. Uh, but you can see this is a really small number, 0, 0 0.8. Uh, if we come over to oxygen, you can see that that is also quite a small number, 0 0.024. Hydrogen, on the other hand, I mean, it's still a small number, 0 0.1, but it's not 0, 0.0 something. It's, at, it's actually got a number immediately after after the point. Uh, so we'd like to try and get the hydrogen in there. And what do you know, here is a lot of hydrogen just here. So I'm going to first break those because I want to make sure that this can be, uh, that th this is the top level. That that's what I want to do first. So we're going to set that up. Did I just hear some research clicking as well? I mean, that's pretty good if it was. Uh, then I'm going to go G and we're just going to dig out those two spots there. That that's all I want. And I'm going to do it at quite a high priority because I really, really, really want this to get done. Uh, we're making obsidian. I suppose that's okay. Uh, it was what I made these ones out of. I probably would have preferred it to have been granite, but that's, that's no big problem. No big problem. Okay, all this stuff over here, this could probably do with digging out as well. Uh, maybe... Oh, no, too many too many clicks. Let's get these ladders going up here. And maybe across here? No, maybe I wanted to do it there. We'll make our decision when they build it all and we can just take the stuff out. Okay, yeah, this is getting done. Hopefully this will now flood it all with oxygen and we'll have a little bit of... of uh, uh, no, hydrogen. It will flood it all with hydrogen. We'll have a little bit of oxygen down below, hopefully to keep the hydrogen up high. That that would be ideal if that's the situation that works out there. But we've got, once again, another night to pass through. Uh, it's almost like about a third of this game is sleep time. It's not, but it feels like it. Ooh, okay, here we go. We're about to make our way through. Also, a little bit of... Ah, the rock granulator came through. A little bit of research came through. Okay, here we go. The flow begins. Hopefully, this is empty enough of stuff that it just wants to flow up into there. Uh, it looks like it might take a little while. It might take a little while. What's wrong with this guy? Is he too low? Uh, he wants to go from 35. He's only at 33. That's a little unfortunate there. Let's uh, press that and see how these things are flowing. It is roughly going where we want it to, but this is like at the most the, the fastest pace I can go and it's just gonna take forever uh, maybe what we want to do is run some ladders down here and start filling this space in with sandstone of course why would it not be uh, let's also dig up these balm lilies and this pinch of pepper uh, and that should help things out that's a nine that's not quite what I wanted but it's pretty good these guys are also going along and doing the copper cake well, they were doing the copper cables. I, I thought that was going to be a thing. Turns out, no. Uh, so, one one or two are getting done. I, I really want this hydrogen to flow, though. Uh, oh, the hydrogen is flowing. Is it all going to end up up there? I don't know. Getting over this lip might also be a bit of a problem, especially as there's a bunch of carbon dioxide down there. I did not see... Oh, no. Wire, gas pipe, thermoregulator, wire, gas pipe, thermoregulator. No, I want the carbon dioxide, if at all possible. Carbon dioxide. Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh, there's a zero there as well. Maybe we do want to let a airflow tile in the bottom of this just for the moment and until all the hydrogen flows in there, at which point we'll replace it with a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, a insulated tile, insulated tile. What, what was that? So overload damage. Oh, we knew it was going to be a problem. Okay, let's uh, disable this building for now, uh, and we'll start thinking about how to cool stuff down later. Though that that's already cooling considerably. Like, considerably, considerably. Look at this. There's, there's like a cold area now. Hmm, maybe we won't need to run it all that often. Well, I know we won't. I, I know we won't. Okay, so if we end up with any hydrogen down here, we've kind of won. Or at least we've done what we need to do, because that means the hydrogen is pushing down. Now, I don't like the fact that the oxygen is kind of fighting back. I mean, oxygen's conductivity is not the greatest, 0 0.024. Um, but if need be, it will do. If need be, it will do. Let's uh, put these up, because I, I really did want to start pushing all this stuff back, if at all possible. The hydrogen back, if at all possible. Where are you going now? Where are you going now? Because uh, if we can make this a nice small area, this is probably a little bit overkill. Probably a little bit over. Why? Why are you coming all the way out here and then running away again? What, what's what's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Oh, also, 
things are getting made nice. Okay, I've done a little bit of a meme here. You can see we've locked Cassio Targ inside of here. And we're going to start building stuff out of Ignis Rock just to try and really push all the gas in there. When I start to see hydrogen down here, I know that I have done well. So let's let this roll. He hasn't just found his way out by some crazy means, has he? Uh, let's go like this, this one, this one. Also, I want to kill that. Uh, this should definitely be stuff that Targ can get on, hopefully. Yeah, it would have been nice to get other people out here. Here, but that's just the way it's going to work today, it turns out. Uh, I, I did actually try to catch all four of them out here. Well, four uh, of the people out here. Turns out they didn't really want to play ball like that. But that, that's fine. I can understand. I can definitely understand. It's, uh, it's a bit awkward being caught out here with all this work on the go. Uh, it was mainly so that the uh, hydrogen wouldn't get dragged in through this way. And no more oxygen would get dragged in. That That's my thought process anyway. Let's deconstruct both of these now. They don't look like they're actually necessary for what's going down. Uh, tile uh, it's doing the same thing again. Ignorous Rock. Just throw that through there. When this one gets built, I'm also going to go all the way across there, if at all possible. Yeah, it is possible. Uh, but stop stop taking oxygen breaks. Who, who needs to actually oxygen? Oh. Do we have a bad? Do we have a bad? Are you still... Are you still breathing? Here's a question. Are you still breathing? That's carbon dioxide. Alright, let's open this door back up now. I think we've probably... Um, got underway well enough. It's a shame that there's actually nasty... Oh, that's food decaying. That's fine. That's fine. It's a shame there's so many uh, nasty elements down here. We'll try and get rid of the majority of them. I can still see airflow going up this way. That That is annoying. Um... Tug, you, you need to go out, man. man. You, you know what I'm saying? You need to leave. Just just go somewhere else. I'll, I'll, I'll cover for you. I'll cover for you. Ignorance rock. No, like, seriously. Yeah, they, they, no? No, you're not, you're not going anywhere. Can you not do the door? Is that, is that what I'm finding out here? Is that you don't know how to work a door? Ah, uh, is that bad? That is bad. M9, let's, uh, let's mop those up. So, someone will get that. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Um, hopefully, Krennic here... Did that water just go underneath? See this this little thing here? What's, what's that about? I'm sure I just saw something happen. Sure I just saw something happen. Now, is, is that actually got anything on it? Has that actually got anything there? Okay, now you guys, will you come over this way and just carry on building this, please? Please, if you could. Like, that that's all I want, is for you guys just to come across and finish filling in this area here. Uh, that should start pushing a whole load of gases back got over a kilogram here so we're, we're starting to do well we're starting to do well okay it took far 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 too long but i think we're at the point where there's nothing but hydrogen in this space here you can see i had to push all of this down they kind of worked out for me in the end and that's the main thing as long as it all works in the end uh so these guys are going to come through and build that down that's pretty good and with that Am I going to say thank you very much for for this adventure? I think I am, because next time we are going to build a power system down here for all of this. I mean, if we... No, not cancel strike. If we enable this, we can see that this power, this cooling system is working incredibly well if that gets turned on. Okay, so uh, along that comes the uh, gas. You can see that it's coming through at 26... Uh, I was going to say Kelvin there, but it's not there. Celsius or centigrade, depending on which way you prefer to say that. And then coming out the other side, a minus one. You don't, you don't get much better than that. And this is doing some pretty serious chilling here. Uh, I'm not sure if any overheat damage is on the way, but we're going to disable this building again just while we don't have the thermal control on the way. And then hopefully with these two being put in place, we have an oven built. So if you are trying to figure out a way of dealing with your heat, don't think about just destroying it perhaps think about putting it to use but anyway thank you very much for joining for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time when we're going to try and make oh, oh, oh no ah well try and make a better kitchen try and make this a little bit better see if we can't deal with the steam geyser up here and oh look there's a chlorine geyser over there so i, I don't know exactly what we're going to do but we are definitely going to deal with one of those and i will see you then when we're going to do that Bye. Ooh, okay, here we go. Okay, that's okay. We've okay. So we've okay. That is okay. Okay. So okay. Okay. Okay.